okay uh, now i have the student entity model now uh, there is uh, one more keyword called db set db set is actually act as the uh, data table it means a uh, like table uh, it will uh, get the list of uh, records into the db set and it will going to display okay fine uh, db set is nothing but it's uh, actually a table this is the class it's act as a database so uh, i need the set of properties uh, to fetch the uh, table so this uh, i want the student table to be um, get into the code so i going to create the database student get sit fine now see actually uh, this is the table name and the table property is student so uh, in mvc pattern a data entity it's look after in a code first approach this is act as a database in the database we have the db set it means a table student with the property student so uh, uh, here we have the student table in our class so only thing is to get this uh, table into my our code and we will uh, just display the records to the view so before i am going to that i want a um, set of connectivity it means a connection string to connect the database and talk to this model to the database so what i going to do i am just open the web confer file here actually uh, in internet application it's default generate some um, connection strings uh, i don't want this i am just going to remove the things okay this is my uh, my catalog it initial catalog is a database so i am giving my database name my database name as uh, new path i don't want to attach any files or something so i just going to remove because it's bit confused what we are doing exactly okay now we got the connection string actually before i'm going to that i want to know like what is my connection name is a hacker so i just change okay this is my connection actually this is my server name so i'm just giving according with that okay there is a one more uh, field here attribute for the add is a name name actually uh, we have to keep the name of a database name here what is the instance uh, that we created i'm going to paste here the connection string of the database new path it will be append with the class uh, mvc app db model and uh, with append the database it will append the table according with the db set okay fine it's a bit confusing once you go into the process it's be a very easy okay fine now what i am going to do is i going to create uh, on a controller Uh, this is my controller name so i am giving controller name as a student mm, i want the set of things it's a bit confusing like what are the things this is actually nothing but it's a template it's pre generated uh, from the mvc so here actually nothing but uh, i plan to 
create empty web uh, mec controller because if you go with these things you will get all the records but you can't um, find out what is actually the workflow it is so i am planning to create an empty template and i am just add the things here okay fine so now i have a controller student so i need the view for this controller so what I am going to here is now I am just right click that and add a view here what I am going to do I am planning to create one strongly type and I am selecting the model uh, which is my model actually here okay my model is not getting displayed because I didn't build the project still now so I just cancel it I save all the things and I am build my project okay now uh, I'm trying the add view in create view I want the model class to be a student I select the student and here actually the template I need is list view template okay use the layout yeah I want to use the default layout so I just keep it same Okay, before I'm going to the to that, uh, what is actually uh, the strongly typed and non-strongly typed? Strongly typed is actual. It will uh, make the output as very strongly typed. It uh, actually the input that we are uh, giving. Uh, it's not like uh, uh, um, the type which are uh, like manually we are pausing some values into the text box or something strongly type actually we are uh, controller uh, first talk with the model and it get the data into the controller and it pause to the view and the view again talk to the model and it will bind according with the properties so this is actually the strongly typed so uh, we can't um, uh, it's like fully tightly coupled so the data um, strength me more strong Okay, I am just add the view here now. Yep. See now, it's uh, generated on template for us to display the student record. See here actually. This is actually uh, the set of things it's getting displayed. So a bit confusion. What is actually? This is a totally a reserve view. Uh, this is actually our model. This is our model. So default I am giving my model to display all the things what are all the model data we have like students ID everything here uh, it's designed as on um, format uh, to display in a table this is actually display name for a model it's taking default student name on this one and we are looping the one more uh, row with the model item so item uh, it will be maybe 100 to 100 so if I get the model items here we will loop and display uh, into the row it will append like how many records it has this is a row uh, is a act, actually act as a header it's uh, just uh, the parameters we are pausing student name name field this is actually the display name for this is actually display for there is a two difference here a display name for is uh, just to display the name of the model this is actually uh, the value which we are going to display fine so uh, be ready to see our first live dynamic uh, um, application in a MVC